Welcome to Communicator, the Language Cert International ESOL B2 level read and qualification. Let's focus on the reading component of the examination. After the listening component, candidates may choose to continue with the reading and then with the writing component or the other way around. The reading component of the Language Cert International ESOL exam at B2 level consists of four parts and there are 26 items in all. There are three different item types, multiple choice questions, always offering three options, A, B and C, matching questions and filling in gaps questions. Part 1 consists of one long text and is followed by six multiple-choice questions. It aims to assess the candidate's ability to understand in detail information, ideas and opinions. Part 2 presents the candidates with a text with six sentences removed and aims to assess the candidate's ability to understand how meaning is built up in a text. A choice of seven sentences to choose from has been provided, so the extra sentence is a distractor. Part 3 asks candidates to read four short texts and assesses their ability to understand the purpose of the texts and locate specific information and awareness of the writer's stance and attitude. Candidates are provided with seven questions which indicate which text provides the answer to each question. This is a matching task. Part 4 assesses the candidate's ability to locate and obtain specific information through detailed reading and answering seven open-ended questions. Responses should be no longer than five words each time. All answers will need to be written on a separate answer sheet. This sample text is taken from part 1, where candidates are asked to read a text which might originate from a news story, an article, a review or a proposal. They need to answer six multiple choice questions about it. Here are its six multiple choice questions on the text, each providing three options to the candidates. This task is the second reading task and it aims at assessing the candidate's understanding of how meaning is built up in a text. The removed sentences may be a topic sentence, a summarizing sentence, a sentence developing an idea, one emphasizing a point or introducing a transition to a new idea. Candidates are provided with seven sentences, but need to use only six of them. Here are the seven sentences to choose from to complete the six gaps in the text on the previous slide. This task is representative of part three, which presents candidates with four short texts and ask them to display their understanding of the purpose of each text and locate specific information. They need to answer seven questions to indicate which text provides the answer to each question. This is a matching task, which are on the next slide. And here are the seven questions related to the four texts provided in part three, which were on the previous slide. The last reading task, task four, presents candidates with a continuous text, which may be a narrative, descriptive, expository, biographical or instructive text, and ask them to answer seven open-ended questions. Responses should be no longer than five words each time. And these are the seven open-ended questions candidates are asked to answer in no more than five words each time. Regarding marking, which we haven't referred to so far, candidates are awarded one mark per correct response and collect up to 26 marks for all reading tasks. Here is a sample of the candidates' questions booklet on the left, 
a reading task, the pages in the middle, and the candidate's answer sheet on the right. For more information on this component of the exam and for support materials, simply follow this link.